I recently presented a case at the Business and Billings Masterclass, which was organised by the Australian Society of Anaesthetists. In this case, it was a hypothetical patient, a 55-year-old man who was presenting for a section of a single metastasis in his liver to be done laparoscopically. He had no other comorbidities and he had previous surgery for his colon cancer resection. And you do what most anaesthetists do, which is call him over the phone and check his history and discuss and consent him for an arterial line, a central line and some intrathecal morphine. You see him on the day of surgery and the consultation only lasts 10 minutes. The question I then ask to the group is what item number, what Medicare benefit schedule item number would you use when claiming for your preoperative consultation? And 22% of people who responded said that they would use MBS item number 17615, whereas the remaining 80% said that they would use item number 17610. And I wanted to make a few points about using that longer item number 17615 because there are three components to using that item number so that you are compliant with Medicare. The first one is the duration. It has to last more than 15 minutes. The next has to do with the complexity of the case or the patient. And the third is to do with documentation. I really want to highlight that because I don't want you to be coming under the attention of Medicare. I explain this in more detail in my podcast. It's the Australian Anesthesia Podcast. Head over there and look for the Talking Money series. You're looking for episode number eight. Full versions of these episodes are only available to members of the Australian Society of Anesthetists, but there's a little bit more detail in that podcast. 